For the right triangle below, find the length of x to the nearest hundredth. Looking at the given right triangle, notice how we are given this angle here that measures 59 degrees. For the next step, let's determine the opposite side, adjacent side and hypotenuse in relation to this given angle. Well, the opposite side is going to be this side here that has a length of 10 units. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle because this is the right angle. This side here is the hypotenuse. And the adjacent side to the given angle is the side of the angle that's not the hypotenuse. And therefore, this is the adjacent side to the given angle. Because our goal is to find the length of x, which is the adjacent side to the given angle, and we're also given the length of the opposite side of the given angle, we will use the tangent function to determine the length of x, where tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the length of the adjacent side. So using this equation here and the given right triangle, we know that tangent 59 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which gives us 10 divided by x. And now we need to solve this equation for x to determine the length of this side here. Let's first clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides by the denominator of x. This gives us tangent 59 degrees times x equals 10 divided by x times x. On the left, tangent 59 degrees times x is equal to x tangent 59 degrees. On the right, we can simplify before multiplying. x is a fraction, has a denominator of one. Notice how we have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator. x divided by x simplifies to one. The right side simplifies to 10 times one, which is 10. To solve for x, we divide both sides by tangent 59 degrees. Simplifying, tangent 59 degrees divided by itself simplifies the one, giving us x equals 10 divided by tangent 59 degrees. And now we'll go to the calculator to find this quotient and round to the hundredths place value. Let's first check to make sure we are in degree mode by pressing the mode key. And notice how we are in degree mode. If we weren't, we would arrow down to degree and then press enter. And now to go back to the home screen, we press second mode for quit, and we enter 10 divided by tangent 59, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how we have an eight in the thousandths place value, or third decimal place, which means you round up when rounding to the hundredths place value. X is approximately 6.01 units. I hope you found this helpful.